A blessed day, friends. Today, Jesus tells us, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. Do you feel honored and delighted with this good news? This is Sister Gemma for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Salt and light are seemingly insignificant everyday commodities, but they are packed with power so essential that life will diminish in quality without them. Imagine a meal without salt and a night without even a spark of light. Just as salt brings out the true flavor of food and light enables people to see and move about in darkness, so you should believers manifest through their witness of life the presence of God's kingdom that Jesus already inaugurated on earth by his passion, death, and resurrection. For now, this kingdom remains a veiled reality until the designated time for its full revelation. But God wills to make it known through simple believers who act as salt that preserves the upside-down values of Jesus and his choice of the path of downward mobility. As they continue to propose the way of Jesus in today's world, marked by excessive self-promotion and upward mobility, the lives of these believers shine from within, enabling people to catch a glimpse of the city on the hill, which is the still-veiled kingdom already present among us. You are the salt of the earth and light of the world. Friends, may we not get tired of bringing out the good in us and keep our light burning with love for God and for others. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, guard our light from being extinguished by the winds of the world. Amen. Amen. 